Welcome to the Mousy Sites YouTube channel. In this video today I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to use our service to build a website for your stationery store. Now if you've just randomly stumbled across this video and you aren't quite familiar with the Mousy Sites service yet, Mousy Sites is the easiest way to create a simple website for your small business. You can literally launch your own website in less than one minute. It's super affordable, only going to cost you $9 a month, and there is a free trial available for 7 days. So all you need to do is click on the link below this video, sign up for the free trial, and give it a go. See how it works for you and your small business. Once you've joined the platform, it's going to go ahead and ask you to search for your markets. We have hundreds of different markets to choose from for different small businesses, solopreneurs, and people with side hustles. So I'm going to head to the top and search for my market, stationery store, whoops, and there it is over there. I'm now going to select that template. Great, let's tell Mighty Sites a few basic details about our stationery store so it can generate a simple website for us. I'm now going to go ahead and put my company name as well as my city and my state or region. Now, it doesn't matter where in the world you're located, you can use the Mighty Site service. We have happy users from all around the globe. Let's go ahead and change the type of business from restaurant to retail and click on continue. Awesome. How can our customers get in touch with us? Let's go ahead and put in our phone number as well as our email address. And let's move along and click on continue. Where is our stationery store located? I'm going to go ahead and put in our street address. As well as my postal code and click on continue. Awesome, let's get our hours set up. What time do we open on a Monday? I'm gonna say we open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on a Monday. We also open on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and a Saturday. We closed on Sundays for rest and relaxation. Let's do a quick review and make sure everything is in order. Everything looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to move along. If you need to make changes, click on Update Location or Update Hours and make the necessary changes. Now, look at that. Awesome. Marty Sites has literally generated a simple website for my small business. Let's take a closer look together. Now, the beauty of Marty Sites is we've pre-written all the content for you, as you can see, just as a guideline, of course, and we've pre-selected all the images. They're all really high quality, look really great, and they're completely free to use. No license is needed whatsoever. However, if you've got your own images of your stationery store and the different products you stock, and you want to make one or two amendments to that content that was pre-written for you as a guideline, you can absolutely do that. It's super simple. Don't need to know any coding, you don't need to be a web developer, and you certainly don't need to hire anyone to help you with this. You can do it all yourself, you don't need to be super tech savvy at all. So today I'm going to be walking you through each section from the top to the bottom, making my way through, so you can have a little bit of a look and feel of how the service works and how easy it is to use. I'm first going to click on update section at the top and the first amendment I want to make is make sure I click on show email on site. So my email address is displayed in the top right hand corner next to my phone number which is click to call by the way. We've already put in our physical location and the great thing about that like uh, physical address is when our customers click on it, it will automatically take them to Google Maps to get directions to our stationery store. Let's make sure that's saved and head over to update social links. Now over here you can put in the various social media platforms your stationery store is active on. Icons will be displayed in the top right hand corner next to that email address and at the bottom of your Marty Sites page. Let's move along, we're making such great progress. I'm now going to head over to update logo. Now if you don't have a logo yet because you're in the startup process of your stationery store, that's okay, Marty Sites will literally just display your name there and it still looks really great. However, I do have a logo, so I'm going to go ahead and browse my device and I want to go ahead and upload it. If you don't have a logo yet and you were really want one, but you don't have a huge budget for a logo, I do recommend you check out canva.com. There are a few free great options on there. 
You can make your logo bigger and smaller, but I think that sizing is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it as it is. Now with Mighty Sites, we've also pre-selected colors that are used throughout your Mighty Sites website. However, if the signage throughout your stationery store, your logo, your business cards, everything like that is a completely different color, not this olive, I guess you could call it. You don't need to know color coding to make the changes. All you need to do is click on the handy little paint bucket over here and go through the various different color palettes available for you to use. So let's go through a few free options and just check it out. I really like this one, so I'm going to go ahead and save it. And as you can see, it's now used throughout my website. Let's move along. I'm now going to head over to update image to change this image in the section over here. If you've got your own image, go ahead and browse your device and upload it. Otherwise, search the photo library. There are hundreds of images to choose from. Mighty sites will automatically search for stationery store, but you can play around with the terms a little bit and just play around and see which ones work best and what brings suitable images up. So here's a few great options under stationery. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. It's really beautiful. Save my image selection. And as you can see, it's now been changed. Let's head to update contents. Over here, we can change the title and subtitle to suit our needs, this section over here. As well as that button, it doesn't have to say get in touch. Let's change it to get directions. And head over to choose link now we can link to another website if need be we can link to an action like click to call directions or click to email so for this one i'm going to put it as directions and another one of my favorite options is to upload a pdf file so if you have a pdf file of your catalog or the different products you stock go ahead and upload it as a pdf file so when your customers click on that button it will automatically take them to that pdf file you've uploaded Awesome. Over here, again, pre-written content for you, just as a guideline button can link to various places. If you want to make changes, click on update section and work your magic. We've now made our way into the about us section. Over here, you can put a little bit more details of how your business came to be, how long you've been in the stationary business industry, all the different products you stock, maybe the different range of brands. Do you offer any other services as well? What products and categories you stock? Notebooks, journals, folders, binders. Do you also sell paint brushes and stuff like that? Go ahead and put all the details over here. Image can be changed to one of your own. Otherwise, leave it as is. I think this is a pretty suitable image because we do stock greeting cards at our stationery store. Over here, we've got another great spot for a high quality image. Go ahead and click on update section, upload one of your own, or choose one from that photo library I've just shown you. We've now made our way into the services section. Over here, you can put a little bit more details of the different services you offer so your customers know what they can come to your store for. Do you offer journals and notebooks, wedding invitations and save the dates, stickers, greeting cards, waxes and seals? labels gift wraps bags go ahead and pop all those details over here if you need to make any last minute changes to that address physical location and those hours go ahead and click on update section so look at that we've literally gone through our marty sites website for our stationery store in literally less than 10 minutes I didn't need to know coding, I didn't need to be a web developer or professional, and I certainly didn't need to hire anyone to assist me with this project. Even though I'm like not even that tech savvy, it's pretty impressive. It's only going to cost me $9 a month, and there is that free trial available for seven days. So all you need to do is click on the link below this video, sign up for the free trial, and give it a go. See how it works for you in your small business. You don't even have to put your credit card details in. Let's go ahead and head over to the site dashboard. Over here, if you have a custom domain, all you need to do is click on connect to domain and go ahead and link it by clicking on I already have a domain. If you're struggling, there is a step-by-step -step tutorial on our blog post over at www.martysites.com as well as some great tips and advice for marketing your small business online. So make sure you check it out. Now, if you don't have a custom domain yet, I'm really excited to let you know you can now purchase your custom domain through the Marty Sites platform. We've recently introduced the feature and we're super excited about it.
Awesome. So I really hope this tutorial was helpful in building a website for your stationery store. I'm really wishing you and your business mighty success. And if you have any suggestions or any features you'd like to see in future on the Mighty Sites platform, do comment below and let us know. We'd really love to hear your feedback. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to leave us a thumbs up so more customers can hear about the Mighty Sites service.